we're in for some thunderstorms tomorrow, and our own superhero swoops in to give us the news. We're going to do everything within our power ah, uh, to you. have a good weekend, nevertheless. All right, let's see about the rain that's headed this way. Uh, you can look at that western sky if you live in DeKalb County like Terry does, and he says storm system is drifting in from the northwest. And what's going on in the city? Still holding on to the 80s. Michelle's got 82 degrees in Chicago. Let's deal with these showers and thunderstorms. You can see that's what Terry was talking about. Uh, they're moving in on Rockford right now. And that shower line will be headed south and east toward DeKalb by 1057 and Huntley shortly after 11 o'clock. So all of that drifting toward the city, weakening somewhat as it does so. So we don't expect it to have the same impact it had in Iowa. And most of the severe weather is drifting south, farther south away from us. But these storms have had 50 mile per hour winds, a long line of broken line of showers and storms. The main concerns for us will be more hail or heavy rain or gusty winds possible in some of them. They move through and by four o'clock in the morning and they're gone. We get a break in the morning hours and I think later on in the afternoon, especially south of the city, there's redevelopment of showers and storms and then look to the north again. We've got some showers and storms late Friday night into Saturday morning. So a couple of rounds of rain, especially between 12 and three in the morning. That's when these storms arrive across Chicago. 85 degrees and some strong storms again on Saturday afternoon. All oh, we had to go through all of that to cool off. 80 degrees, maybe a leftover shower for Father's Day, but Rob, from that afternoon straight through the middle or end of next week, all like they should be, these temperatures Boys, getting a break. Starting Sunday looks spectacular, right? Happy Father's Day indeed. Yes, it is going to be a happy one and a good one to you, Steve.